What's up everybody? I'm back. It's been a while. I know I was supposed to, why does my hat look weird? I don't know. Today I'm doing a very, very late what I got for Christmas just because I saw others were doing it and I found myself like into the YouTube hole of like you're falling down and like watching every single video and you're going to the next one. Yeah, I was probably like six hours deep into watching these videos. So I was like, maybe I should make my own. This Christmas was my first Christmas away from my family. I'm 22 right now, so I've spent, you know, just 21 years spending Christmas and the holidays with my family. They actually decided to come down to LA and visit me. I also knew that like, obviously this is gonna be a lot different than regular Christmases because Christmas for me is like having a ton of family and friends around, having so much food everywhere, the Christmas music's on, people are laughing, all that fun stuff. But you know, life as an adult, things change and that's okay, change is good. We are going to embrace it. The new year is here. They were so, so giving and I just was blown away by how generous they were being this Christmas. Super grateful for them and I'm so glad that they got to come. First, what they got me honestly was more of adulting stuff. So they took me and my boyfriend Kyle to Whole Foods, but they decided to take us there and buy us a bunch of groceries. I had never seen my basket that full before. I didn't even think it was possible, but it was so full and it was amazing. It made me feel so good. I still have food in my fridge from when they were here because I have so much. Well, my dad was like, no, keep grabbing more, keep grabbing more. And it's like, ha, I, Oh my god, like that's all I have to say. Another surprise that they did, they picked me up from work like earlier on in the week. We were getting out of the car to go inside of my apartment and my dad was like, Hey Chelsea, like can you come back here and help me get some stuff out of the trunk? Guys, they bought me a bunch of furniture. Here is one of the chairs that my parents bought us. So cute. And then they also got me this little end table. It's also a stool and my dad just sent me Little Women because we watched it in theaters and it was great. And then they also got these two bar stools. These are so cute, which goes with my theme, we all know. And then they also got me this cute little coffee table. I definitely wasn't expecting this. Oh my gosh. And then, and then it extends to a little table because we don't have a dinner table just because the way our house is set up, it kind of doesn't work that way but this can work as storage and a little table to work from like on my computer or eat dinner or eat breakfast, whatever. It just goes back in itself. So thank you, mom and dad. They took me and my sister to Urban Outfitters. Your girl went a little crazy, but that's okay. First, I have had my eye on this jacket probably since they released the new color. If you guys don't know, I wear that lavender jacket of this all the time and when I lived in Washington I lived in it basically everybody knew me as the girl with the purple jacket I had been waiting to get this one you know I didn't want to impulsive buy anything lately and I've been trying to be better about my shopping so I've been waiting on getting it thank you mom and dad for this comfy jacket even though it doesn't get too cold in California but I'm kind of a little wimp so it's a little cold for me still but the other things that I got was this cutie skirt. It has like lace on it and it's this like silky satiny material. Love it. It looks so cute. I'm trying to narrow down my style just because I feel like I'm all over the place and it makes me feel like I don't have enough to wear because I don't know what my style is, but I'm figuring it out. Okay, I'm only 22. What do you expect? And then I saw this top and I knew it was gonna look good right away and I love it. It's so girly. It's like this mauve purple lavender color. This is so cute and so feminine. I love the cut of it. It looks perfect. I love the ruffles. It's so girly. I really like their like intimates selections and I just really like to buy the tank tops because they're easy to wear, especially during the summertime. So I got this deep V tank top so cute it's in black i'm trying to you know mature my colors a little more obviously pink and purple will always be in my wardrobe but i'm trying to like minimize it to more simple tones i have this in actually like this pink color that i'm wearing but i got it in navy blue and then i also got this dress it was on clearance i've tried it on before but it wasn't on clearance then so i didn't get it but it's this tie back and like plaid 
And it's just a cute, like, easy dress to wear. If y'all know me, you know that I love to wear dresses just because it's like a big t-shirt and I don't have to wear pants. Anytime I don't have to wear pants, it's a good day. I saw this dress and I was hoping with all of me that it would fit and it literally fit like a glove. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. And it even looks pretty on camera. It's like this silky soft material. It's just a basic like straight down dress. It's a little flare at the end and it's the most comfortable thing. And I look so put together. You could literally wear tennis shoes or black combat boots or high heels or slip-ons. It's so versatile. So I had to get it. And I've been loving the style of dress lately. We opened Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. And like, obviously my parents didn't get me Christmas presents because they bought everything here for me and I wasn't expecting anything else. But my sister did end up painting me this little picture. What the heck? My sister's a freaking artist. I was looking at all the other stuff that she's done and it makes me feel so unartistic because I'm not artistic at all. But at least there's one artsy girl in this family and that's not me. I really appreciated this and now I'm gonna have her make some more pictures for our apartment because I think that would be super cool. And then the last thing that I got, which I wasn't expecting at all because my boyfriend Kyle and I said that we weren't gonna do Christmas presents this year just because we had just moved and all of the stuff with my dog had happened. But I had mentioned to him months ago that I really wanted this Tana Mojo jacket. I know, Tana Mojo, you either love her or you hate her. I used to not really like her, but then I started binging her videos because of my sister and now I can't stop and I love her. But he got me her reality star jacket. <laughs> when I got this, I was like, no freaking way. Like usually I know what Kyle is gonna get me just cause I can tell, but I literally had no clue. And it's so cute and it fits me so well. It says reality star and then here's what the back looks like. I appreciated this so much and it's so soft. Got me and my family um, these bracelets. Of course, what color did I get? The pink one. But me and my sister got matching pink ones and I got my parents turquoise ones. And I just thought it was kind of a cute gift to have with each other because we're family and now we're far away from each other and it's definitely sad. Like, you know when your family annoys you and like bothers you, but then like when you're away from them, you're like, oh my God, I appreciate you guys so much. I'm sorry, why did I take you for granted? Yeah, that's me. Anyways, I'm so happy that my family got to come down. It honestly made my Christmas just because Christmas season flew by this year and it was really sad because Christmas time is my favorite time of year. I'm definitely keeping all of my Christmas decorations up for like months. I'm so grateful for all of you that are watching my video. I hope you had a wonderful holiday and I hope whatever you celebrate went amazing. If you spent it with family, friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, whoever, I hope it was great. And don't forget to like the video if you liked it. If you didn't, don't feel pressured because peer pressure isn't cool, you guys. We are in the new year. Like, I am so excited about it. There's so many good things to come. I have so many things planned. I hope you'll have a really good day, evening, or night. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. How to